The universe is full of mysteries. Every time we look up into the sky, many questions come to our mind. What's up there and what's beyond those stars we see? In fact, there's a spot in the universe where we cannot see anything through our human eyes. That place is called a black hole. Due to its insane gravitational pull, even light can't escape through it. Humans can only sense the effects of a black hole upon its surrounding area. For example, black holes can be seen ripping and devouring stars that get close to them. But how do we humans get to know about it? Well, thanks to the space telescopes, humans are able to look far beyond in the universe. The latest addition to the telescope's James Webb Telescope is equipped with some of the next generation technology. And with it, we can hope to find answers to our many questions. Among them many questions are, of course, about black holes. And the James Webb Space Telescope is more capable than the previous scope, so we can reach with it towards the black hole in a far more effective way. In fact, one of the numerous missions of NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is to look for primitive black holes in the early universe. In today's video, we're going to talk about the images of the black holes captured by the James Webb Space Telescope and what we can expect from them as Webb is about to open a completely new discovery discussion on the black hole. So, if you're curious to know more, hit the like button right now, as there's a lot more about the James Webb Telescope and black holes to learn. It is generally accepted that a supermassive black hole can be found at the heart of nearly every major galaxy. These black holes have millions or billions of times the mass of the sun, and they swallow any matter from their surroundings that gets too close. The Sagittarius A supermassive black hole, which lies at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, was first discovered by the recent image obtained by the Event Horizon Telescope. That image is really breathtaking. But the James Webb Space Telescope has a capability much greater than that of the Horizon Telescope. Aside from observing black holes, it'll also assist in answering the questions of how galaxies like ours got to have such a massive core black hole. The discovery of densely massive black holes, which have masses of several billion solar masses, is a surprising discovery. When the universe was only about 700 million years old, these black holes were already present. Standard theories predict that at such an early period, there's not enough time for the growth of such a hypermassive black hole. Therefore, the findings come as something of a mystery, which we hope to resolve in the near future with the help of the James Webb Telescope. A black hole is created when a massive star reaches at the end of its fuel supply, at which point it either collapses on itself or falls into itself. The density of these dead stars generates an extraordinarily powerful gravitational attraction, which in turn attracts dust and gas from its surroundings, resulting in the expansion of the black hole. If these black holes have been around since the universe was about 700 million years old, there's a good chance that they were formed from stars and other objects that existed before our universe. There is much we're missing. Maybe we're not the first, and so is our universe. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we will finally have an answer to this. Some researchers also believe that black holes engulf material at extremely rapid rates, which is another explanation that explains how certain black holes grow to be surprisingly massive even when they are still relatively young. Similarly, those primordial black holes may have resulted from the collision of stars, the merger of two or more black holes, or the collapse of a primordial gas cloud that had not yet become enriched with chemical elements heavier than helium. The NERSPEC instrument carried by the James Webb Space Telescope is aimed at facilitating the identification of primeval black hole origins and signs of active phases. Active phases are periods in which black holes grow rapidly by consuming a large amount of matter in their surroundings which causes the surrounding matter to become extremely hot and bright. With the help of this instrument, it'll be easier to monitor the light generated by these devouring systems and to quantify the velocity of the gas orbiting in the surroundings of these black holes. The James Webb Space Telescope will assist humankind in gaining a better understanding of some of the most mysterious parts of our cosmos, which are massive black holes. It is equipped with some of the most complex and advanced instruments that no other telescope has until now. The James Webb Telescope looks at the universe with both the infrared wavelengths F210M and F480M at the same time. The James Webb Telescope has been positioned in such a way that it will have a view of Sagittarius A that is uninterrupted even when it is in the midst of one of its flarings or calm cycles. This is due to the fact that the Webb has been placed in a position that is approximately 1 million miles away from the Earth in a gravitationally stable point. This position is also called the Lagrangian point too. 
It is also protected from sunlight and the heat of the sun due to the L2 orbit. The orbit that the JWST follows also keeps the telescope clear of the shadows cast by both the Earth and the Moon. As a result, the telescope is able to have a view of the universe that is unobstructed for the entirety of its orbit. In the meantime, the Hubble Space Telescope passes into and out of the shadow of the Earth once every half an hour. Scientists will be able to enhance their understanding of the mechanisms that govern these massive black holes by making use of the Webb's observation of Sagittarius A across many wavelengths. One of the things that scientists do not fully understand about Sagittarius A is what causes its flares, how they reach their peak, and how they eventually fade away. Not only will the James Webb Telescope assist scientists in researching black holes, but it'll also provide scientists with a greater understanding of the sun and the flares it produces. It is possible that as long as we know more about black holes, we will have more questions than answers. Because of the saying, the more you know, the more you realize that we don't know much. To sum up the whole discussion, Webb is going to introduce an all-new discovery space in this area very soon. It is likely that the first black hole origins were created in the infant universe just a few million years after the Big Bang when the cosmos was still relatively young. Webb is the ideal time machine for discovering such information about these prehistoric mysterious black holes. Because of its extraordinary sensitivity, Webb is able to detect galaxies that are located at tremendous distances from Earth. In addition, because it takes so long for the light produced by these galaxies to reach Earth, we will be able to observe them as they appeared in the distant past. Humans can't know what the universe has in store for them. But with the James Webb Space Telescope, we'll finally have a chance to know our universe from a different and more effective angle. Well, that's it for today's video. What do you think of today's video topic? What are your thoughts about black holes and their origins? Do you think they're older than the universe or not? Tell us about your views in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos about our universe, just click on one of the videos shown on screen.